So I got my boom bap going, it's pretty cool. This is the most important part to beat most of the time with most music. Getting this tight enough. Now what I did here, I got them doing their own thing. My subgroup to beat that, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it too loud. But as you can see where it's at right here. And my master is different. So let's go to here. Look at our, our mix. Here's our mix right here. So I'm going to get above 3 dB here. I'm going to get above that at all. I don't want to get too far above that. So Creating some headroom in here. So they're right here in this track right here. So now I'm gonna go back to here. I like that so far. I got all the elements here. I've got this going on. A bunch of other tracks, see that? So this one I have as a, a hi-hat here, right? A slight hi-hat here. Now normally, I don't like this, so, but the producer gave me this track, I would normally go inside and normalize this track, right? So if I had to do that, I would do that. So I'll go to here, I'll leave it alone for that purpose. When they start mixing and get down to the raw guts, I will make suggestions. And now we have this also, this little guitar going on. With this guitar here, you can hear this guitar sounding right there. It's pretty cool. I have a guitar I like that. It's, got, it's pretty cool, not bad with the sound, right? But it's going to the left here more than anything else. You know, it's stereo. Some's going right, but a lot's going left. And here I also have this keyboard that's here. Let's get sold this out. Right next to it. See that? So I've got them pan different directions. I don't want them to collide together. I want them to like blossom on the outside of this mix, not just collide together. So I'll put this back, and you've heard it already. Track right here. I keep this lower because it provides some sort of tension. The problem here is this, this here. When those two play together, there's too much tension. Watch this. Oh, that's too much. So I'm gonna pull it down a little bit here over that. We don't have this tension going on. Let the music take care of itself. Okay, that's good. These, these are hits right here. Little piano hits. Yep. So guitar here. Right, let's go out of here. These two right here. So left and right, right? It's got a little noise in this one right here, right? We'll let that blend in. I'll get rid of that later on. I don't want to know my problems with the beat. In case that producer doesn't like this at all. I think everything mixed perfectly, right? Alright, here's it. Oh, this is a great sound. I like that sound. Percussion sound. Low fi that's great. Blends in. Okay, my next track's on the bass line. The bass line are four separate samples. Let's play these back here. Um, let me go back into this mix for it and turn one effect off of this thing. I got the four. Oh, here we go. Let's turn this one off. Sorry. Let's hit this back now. I've got these four samples. Go to here, 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 and here. Let's hit this bass line back. Let's 
Yeah. Mm. So there are four different samples. A slide, a note, two notes, and one note. So I sent them all to subgroups, to four. One group, subgroup four. Let's look at subgroup four, and this is it right here, subgroup four. Now what I add here is a EQ, low only. Watch this. No noise now from the record trying to feel. Might be record samples. I want to make sure I get that bass feel with it. Now I go back to here and got a solo. mixing on this track or any track I've done hit me up in the bottom let me know what's going on don't forget we do mix I do mix this call up we do a zoom session you pull your session up over there I get over here on this side of it I'll say yeah your nay I'll help you with the EQs or whatever you're gonna do it's always good to have a nice mix to give to your artist who might want to put a track on there or the rapper who might want to rap to it you know it's always good to have a nice solid mix it makes you look good so any questions, hit me up. I'll see you in a few. I got a new track next week. Or actually a couple days maybe.